Yo, what up everyone? Today we're doing something a little different. We're going to play with this thing online that I found called Talk to Transformer. Basically, this is like, in the most simplest way of saying it, you just type something into here, and a neural network will try to guess what's coming next. Just type in anything you want, like the start of a story, for example, and this AI will finish the story for you. So I just want to have a little fun, type in some things, read what it comes up with, maybe have a laugh or two. It's by this guy named Adam King. And uh, we share the, last, the same last name, so I uh, can only assume this is a distant relative of mine. Distant, <laughs> as in he's from like maybe like 300 years ago, he made this. Anyways, uh, we can choose uh, these custom prompts, but all these are boring, so I'm going to type in my own. Let's start off with something really cool. Mario jumped on a Goomba. Mario jumped on a Goomba instead of chasing after one. At the end of the next level in Ocarina of Time, you will see that the lion is there again. To the right of a lion, you can see a log where the lion was, and then you'll see a rock cliff, then a shell, and the lion again. It should be obvious. <laughs> you can kill the Goomba. Hold on. You can kill the Goomba while approaching it while it is asleep. While fed, Goomba will run away from Link. And the conscious one will stay where it is. This makes for a less. I think this one got very confused. Wow, okay. Billy Eyelash is so cool. Billy Eyelash is so cool. Lindsay and Matt just huff it up. Lindsay Zolad's Zodiac Killer. Welcome to camp. Exists! Lindsay Zolad's Deadpool. This is insane. Leah Sedoy. Greenleaf. Leah Sedoy. Rust and Bone. I want you to watch the cutaways. Watch your wrist. Watch your head. Leah Sedoy. Um. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Elon Musk will invade Mars. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just read too much stuff. Elon Musk will invade Mars. April 17, 2012 at 6.13 p.m. Defense said, The situation I grew up in is something I don't want for my children or grandchildren. No driver's license issued to anyone without a social security number. No voting. No dog walking. No child care. No college. No hospitals. No most offices. No farms. No restaurants. No banks. No internet access. No phone service. No fantasy baseball. No snow. No running water. No gas. No country. Period. There are a few good things. <laughs> I like... Hold up. <laughs> For one... No most offices. I um, come on, and then went from all of these things. What's the funniest thing is that <laughs> they started off with no driver lesson into it. Anyone without a social security number, because that is extremely important when you're living in a post-apocalyptic world. And then no voting and no dog walking, no dog walking, <laughs> no fantasy baseball. <laughs> All of, okay, if you, <laughs> no country, no country, period. If if you have a country, you're required to have these things. You need to have dog walking. You need to have fantasy baseball. You need to have snow. <laughs> I used to love you, Sonic. I used to love you, Sonic and Sonic, Super Smash Bros. You're just another trash robot, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Smash Bros. Melee. I love you, buddy. Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Smash Bros. Ball. You're good, Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog, so so Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. All along, I know you would return. You always do. Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3. <laughs> You're just another trash robot. Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Why? I used to love you, Sonic. I used to love you. Sonic and Sonic. <laughs> Sonic and Sonic are saying they used to love Sonic. Even down here. You're good, Sonic, says Sonic. <laughs> Talk about Nigo. Holy crap. Pokemon is the best game in the world. Pokemon Ruby Sapphire is the best game in the world. Oh my god, I actually agree with that. <laughs> that is my favorite game. I cannot tell you how many times I have failed to beat a boss in this game when I found the optimal strategy weeks ago. Instead of dedicating myself to the game, 
and learning this boss inside out, I will always fall back on the luck that I find myself in. Sometimes, you do need luck to beat the boss, and the odds are usually stacked against you. That's why I've never beat a boss, really, since this game has been... I don't know if this is still talking about this, because bosses? No one calls it a boss. And secondly, it's not that hard, man. Come on. It's a Pokemon game. It's meant for children. And me. I'm a child, because I love Pokemon. I'm proud of that. I don't even care. Pikachu sat down and slowly aimed a Pringle, or Pringle Bite, and a couple of licks from his open palm. <laughs> he looked at me with his br big brown eyes and calmly said, Oh yeah! <laughs> I gave him a Pokeball with my dragon wings, thinking it was a trick question. That, that wasn't a question. He went to fly off and played happily. This was another fun day, one that I just really enjoyed. This was the summer of 2005, and while I had not played with Pokemon since then, the truth is I'm still looking forward to playing with. Kitties sometimes eat toes. Don't just take my word for it. Check out this video of a blue kitty that ate one of her toes. Since blue kitties aren't good about keeping their food in their dish or turning over or turning food over very often, kitty owners need to keep things in check with their feedings. A cat box will eat most of her meals by themselves. When you own a blue kitty, there's usually plenty of food in your dish. If you're getting lots of wildy cat food for your cats, it's going to eat. Corin punched King K. Rool in the face. However, in the process, the slattern grabbed Ketchup, injuring her. Then he used his car tails to fly out of Ketchup's way. Afterward, he kicked Ketchup into the Octorok's mouth and dropped him off a cliff. This infuriated the Octorok, who fired a paralyzing shockwave, which killed the Slattern and left Ketchup with six broken ribs. Later, Garfunkel caught up to him and explained that there was still in no way. What happened to the characters that I added to this? <laughs> it just started using Slattern and Ketchup. Is this Slattern and this Ketchup? I can only assume. So, that's, I can't, I can't handle this. All right, let's, let's get weird. Mario and Sonic hugged for a long time. Meanwhile, inside the clock tower, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Diamond Silver were disappointed to find the time loop was finished. If the situation were reversed, they had no idea how, how far they would be able to go. Mario and Sonic ran around until they reached a platform in the middle of a garden. If they walked around the edge of the long platform and stepped on a switch in the center, the earth beneath them would open up to reveal an arcade on the other side. There, they could play games as long as they... That is not, that is not what I wanted. That is not what I expected. I'm trying to get some Mario and Sonic fan fiction. Let's do this. Bowser and Solid Snake were playing on the swings. Solid Snake finally noticed that it was Bob who made the banana pellets fall on their head. So he retrieved a coin and threw it to Bowser's head. <laughs> then he removed his headband and revealed that it was really King Boo. However, they never really found out their identity as Donkey Kong was hiding in the bushes. However, they never really... They never found out their identity as Donkey Kong was hiding in the... Whatever. bomb on Battlefield. After the events of the Game Boy Advance remake, Mumbo Jumbo said that bomb on Battlefield is far below him. As we see in a more advanced screenshot, his standing area can... Wow. That was a roller coaster of emotions. They introduced like seven characters in two seconds. Look at this. Uh, they got the two I introduced, right? And then they were like, Bob. <laughs> Just Bob. And then Solid Snake revealed that it was really King Boo, the whole t or Big Boo the whole time. And then they never really found out where Donkey Kong was. I don't know what they were looking for him. And then Mumbo Jumbo's over here. <laughs> A long time ago, Mario and Toad were best friends. Two little stiffs with an insatiable desire for adventure. They shared a balloon with Merlin, their friend who was crazy about balloon jumping. Merlin tried every trick and trickery, but Mario fell one jump too far. In that, in that one fall, he met Tom. Tom was the very best balloon jumper in the world. Merlin, now a little fish man, <laughs> grew up around Tom and wanted to be just like him. Now, he and Mario decided to conquer the world. They had an old, that was heavy hitting. Merlin's now a little fish man. <laughs> Do the toad voice. I knew there'd be a line. I like Toad, too. I always have, anyway. This gets a few repeated cheers. Then, the Toad gets up, and they all jump around for a bit. The Toad laughs. I don't care how weird this sounds. I just didn't want to watch. Anyway, never once did I think about this. How could I possibly go? I thought I was just going to be king, not be a steward. Didn't know the castle was full of dumb, fat idiots or something. You're too cute. <laughs>
the tone the tone said all of this oh sorry hold on the tone said it all while laughing as well <laughs> i don't care where this sounds i just didn't want to watch anyway never once did i think about this i can't i can't no i'll do this one didn't know this castle was full of dumb fat idiots or something Jigglypuff stared at the camera like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, Charizard, and Mario, played by the pool. Pikachu, Charizard, and Mario went down three to one, then a, three to zero, then eleven to zero. The next day, the Shrek players played, and fourteen to seven, Wubby won, winning the event and a European cash. Four. Whoa, that's a, is this a space? Yeah. 4,500, 2,000 each. The event was, li- <laughs> the event was later replayed and Mewtwo King won 3-0. Mewtwo King is the best known for being the world's second best Smash 4 player, behind only Mango. He was also the first player to have, interesting. All right, we're getting weird again. Sonic looked deeply into Mario's eyes as he said this. But isn't it useless? To bring you back to life when I already know what you are? No, I can still do something about it. He could not bring Sonic to life because of the enemy. But he could make Sonic carry him to a place where Sonic could be revived. Thanks, but I'll hold off any attacks from now on. Hey, that was dangerous. Not to mention the sort of thing tends to be done in secret. <laughs> that was my that was my, my Mario voice needs some work, I know. But I got the Sonic voice down, yeah. Pikachu smiled gently at Ness. Oh, you're a lizard? Pikachu! I'm Pikachu, the leader of Team Rocket. Will you help us defeat Team Rocket? The re- <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> the rest of Team Rocket, Archie, Tokopi, and Larvitar, stared intently at Pikachu. <laughs> Let me show you what a good time you're going to have. The first time Team Rocket makes a monkey of us, he's going to have a big hurt. Arg! What a sad day. It's bad for business. That's wrong. <laughs> oh, you're a lizard? I'm Pikachu, leader of Team Rocket. Will you help us defeat Team Rocket? What? What? Mario is standing above Elsa. I'll have to forgive this in both accounts. After all, Anna has nothing. Uh, Anna has never done anything good to me. She's always ruined my life. Oh yes, Anna's done it many times. Elsa smiled as she looked took, as she took the ice ring. I suppose you don't believe me when I say she didn't do it, because I liked her. Did you? Well, no, I really didn't. But you're always so high maintenance and demanding, even in our youth. Elsa chuckled. <laughs> Mario was throwing Mario was scrolling through Instagram photos of him. When he saw the picture in full, he froze for a split second before laughing uncontrollably and bursting into laughter that sounded eerily like Daddy's little monster. He smiled at me again and I started laughing my butt off. I love I love how I get to hear all of his laugh like it was the best thing that ever just happened. When you're a kid, it's really hard to be sweet because your parents take care of you. What? You have no worries in the world, so they they want to take you out and spoil you all the time. What is this? <laughs> I love how random this is. This is like amazing for someone with ADHD. Teach me how to do a backflip, Luigi! He yelled to the dinosaur, who quickly zipped to him and plunged his head on his shoulder. Mario waved the P-Wing at the dinosaur, who tilted his head to the left and quickly shuffled backwards, moving the P-Wing to pull the backside of his head forward. Boom! The dinosaur cried as he slammed his head at Mario's. Ugh! He said, pulling his sword out and instantly thrusting at the dinosaur's head. The dinosaur. <laughs> All right, last one. <clears throat> Sonic climbed the stairway to heaven, which in our version was simply the entrance to destruction. As Sonic reached the top of the stairway, he looked up and saw what he could only describe as, Gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> this place was like a... <laughs> This looks like a great place for a hedgehog like me. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay, I'm done. That's it. We're gonna go with that. This is freaking Sanic. And... <laughs> That's where we're ending it. Good. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this adventure of sorts. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm happy I got to spend it with you. I, I had some laughs. I hope I can make you laugh. Uh, besides that, see you later. Try!